Federation. So let's talk about this latest move by the Crimean Parliament with political analyst Alexander Pavic, who joins us now live from Belgrade. And Mr. Alexander Pavic, welcome to RT. Very nice to see you now. Uh, so what we hear, Crimea's authorities cite Kosovo's declaration of independence, which was recognized by a UN court, as we know, as precedent for the peninsula to do the same within international law. What do you make of those parallels? Well, the parallel stands. Uh, the, uh, the International Court of Justice in uh, July of 2010 explicitly said the following. There is nothing in international law which prohibits a declaration of independence being made. And uh, all the Western powers, practically the whole Western world, supported this. And uh, so the Crimean authorities are invoking this same precedent. It's really, there is no difference at all in that sense. There is a difference, though, in one thing. The Kosovo Albanians had previously ethnically cleansed uh, Kosovo. They expelled 250,000 people from the territory, so, and they didn't hold a referendum. The authorities in Crimea are democratically elected. Nobody has been thrown out of Crimea except for provocateurs, and uh, everyone has a free right to express themselves in this referendum. Kosovo is recognized by more than 100 UN member states, as we remember. So why the Western rush to dismiss Crimea's choices before any referendum has even been held? Well, because these are not their guys, you know, to, to, to uh, quote uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, you know, about Somoza in Nicaragua. He may be uh, an SOB, but he's our SOB. Well, these, the people in Crimea are not the West's SOBs, they're normal people uh, who are not on the side of uh, America in this sense. So this is why all of a sudden they can't do something that terrorists in Kosovo could. Uh, so it's clearly a double standard. There's nothing else you can call it. Uh, how, do you th how do you see this will pan out uh, if Crimea votes to leave Ukraine and become independent or later join Russia? Uh, will the West interfere to stop that from happening? Well, the West usually lets someone else do its bidding, its dirty work. Usually they do this by proxy, like they did in former Yugoslavia in the 90s. They actually didn't put uh, boots on the ground until uh, so-called peace settlements were reached. So. Unfortunately, they'll probably try to turn Ukrainians against Russians, Ukrainians against Ukrainians, Russians against Russians. This is the way the West does. Of course, with a little bit of help from their friends, jihad terrorists, etc. This is something that they do all over the world. I'm afraid they're going to try to do that in Crimea as well. Political analyst Alexander Pavic, live from Belgrade. Mr. Pavic, thank you very much indeed for your time. Pleasure.